Welcome back to the channel guys, Pat here at Card Scale Dreams. So today, a uh, bit of a, I guess you could say a, be a bench update. I, uh, <clears throat> I've been working on this 84 GMC. Um, I previously started this one um, before I joined YouTube, so this one's already been in progress for a while. I uh, had some troubles with it. I was, uh, well, I'll show you in a, minute, in a minute here where I screwed up and it ended up back in the box. Um, I know we've all got a few of those kits that pushed us almost to the brink and uh, rather than do something silly, I just put it back into the box. Um, so yeah, this is the 84. GMC kit um, Detail wise the kit isn't the best um, But I've always liked these square body Chevys um, And of course I bought like I think f Probably four of these kits just for the tires back when uh, Walmart was discounting their kits and doing the packs of threes um right before they stopped selling but anyways i'll just show you where i'm at right now i so i started weathering up the tires putting a little bit of mud on them they still need to need some work but um i uh the tires have valve stems and i did a wash with uh to me a smoke so they don't look as toy like as they came in the kit so those were done uh, I started working on the interior got the dash done just paint there was no decals in this kit so I just painted that up the best I could it's turned out okay uh, and well, here's the spare tire in the back that'll be mounted. So I made the the hole down there. Um, so yeah, there's that. Seats will be like, yeah, those are already painted green. Um, can't remember what kind of type of paint this is, but it's uh the satin paint so I'll have to I'll have to dig it out of the garage and have a look at it because I can't remember what it was I don't think it's duple color but I think I got it on Walmart maybe tailgate grill really don't like the headlights in this kit because they're molded into the grill um, I tried to put, uh, what did I put in there, floor polish, um, I think epo I, I've heard of guys using e epoxy to give it a better effect, well, I don't have any, but um, something I should think about getting, I think that'll make a big difference. And the trunk and the body, or the, the box and the body. So two-tone paint, rhino, rhino lined the uh, box. Uh, so yeah, that, I think that looked pretty cool in there with the, the tire sticking in there like that. And I've got a roll, roll bar that I'm building for it. So I'll have to get back on that. And then the reason why I stopped building this went back in the box was, as you can see, so I cut out the uh, the moon roof or sun roof or whatever you want to call it. And <clears throat> so I made a piece of styrene that fit over that opening so it just didn't... You know, it wasn't just the paint. 
And then when I went to go glue that on, I, uh, I totally botched it up and got glue all over the paint. And, um, it just did not look good. So I tried my best to fix it up, and but uh, I, I couldn't. So this is the piece that goes on there. And uh, yeah, so I totally botched that, the frame. Um, so I think, so this frame won't cover everything that I've messed up. So I think what I'll do is I'll build a bigger frame out of styrene to fit on there, a little wider and longer, and to cover what I messed up. I think I might be able to get away with it that way. But I mean, at the time when I messed that up and then I, I uh, cut this back off, scratched up the paint doing so and yeah so it just went back in the box so that was a bit frustrating and then as i was putting it back in the box i messed up my uh so i was making a sliding rear window for it as well and then i knocked out the, the two sliders that i had made <laughs> so and, and again then i got really frustrated and um it's probably been sitting in there for a year. <laughs> it's frustrating when things like that happen. But I think I can come back with some fresh eyes and and uh, finish it up. It's been polished and stuff. Uh, paint isn't the best, but it's it's pretty decent. Some. I don't know what happened with the hood. There was like it's it's a one piece. Like I didn't modify it or anything, but. Had these little lines show up. That was weird. Well, there is a spot where you can cut it wide open. Like two indentations to cut, but I never, I didn't bother with any of that. I just wanted a straight flat hood. But I guess weird things on the hood where, where you would cut it show up. But, um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm pretty much over this kit. I just kind of want to get it done and out of the way. <clears throat> I'll say the, the engine. Where, yeah, I wasn't totally sure what engine I was using yet. But I had this old one from 054 from uh, Chevel kit. So I might use this one. This was an old glue bomb from when I was young. I figured it would be kind of neat if I fix this up and have this in there. Kind of be neat if I did, but if I can't find anything to build it up, then I have some other stuff in mind I might work on. All right, thanks for checking in. I appreciate everybody, subscribers. Um, I see some, I, I got some visitors outside the door, so appreciate everybody checking in. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good week. Thank you. Thank you very much.